name you know the keto queen my face is all red because i got my eyebrows waxed and every time i get my eyebrows waxed i break out so i came straight home and washed my face and you'll see my face is red because i'm so sensitive so i don't care what i look like you guys care what i look like for dinner nobody cares right i didn't want to detour my time with you guys so we are making a quick easy delicious dinner i'm excited for it we're making I love these meatloaf muffins. So these mini meatloafs. So my husband loves them. I love them. Haley loves them. They're so yummy and so easy. You only need a very few ingredients. And we're making a broccoli cheese casserole that I personally love to death. So guys, the recipes are going to be in this post when I finish up this live video. We're going to walk through it very quickly. And I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to cook. And then after this video is complete, guys, I'm going to come back and do a follow-up to last night's questions. So I want to give you those questions right now if you want to go ahead and write them down because after this video we're going to come back and do a quick, quick, quick uh, awesome takeaway opportunity from my uh, leadership event we just went to. So the questions, go ahead and write these down so I want you to be prepared for my video after dinner. And that first question, there's three. The first question is what do you want? What do you want? What do I want? Say what do I want? I want Okay. The second question is, what do I need? What do you need? What do I need? So what do I want? What do I need? Number three, what do I deserve? Write those questions down, and then I want you to set a timer on your phone for one minute. Just one minute timer, and I want you to write as many things down as you can possibly fit in that one minute. So what you want, so I want, I need, and I deserve. And then we're going to come back and talk about that after dinner. So let's get started with dinner. I'm super excited. Uh, my oven just went off. I've got my oven set on 350. And guys, the recipe I'm going to post in the post is with one pound of ground beef. So I'm doubling the recipe as we cook it together. We're making the meatloaf minis that are super yummy. I've got two pounds of ground beef in here. And with those two pounds of ground beef, I'm going to add two eggs. I love this recipe because it's so fast, guys. It has the smallest amount of ingredients for a meatloaf. And I'm telling you, it's the most favorite meatloaf I've ever cooked. And I've got a amazing meatloaf recipe that I used to cook back in the day. But it has so much crap in it. It took so long to fix. This is like the fastest meatloaf dinner you'll ever have. So if you've tried these before, give me some hearts. If you already love these, give me some hearts. I want to see who's tried it and loves it. If you haven't tried this before, go ahead and share this video because you're going to want to come back to this on your page because it is amazing. So mini meatloaf muffins, we have two pounds of ground beef, two eggs, and we're going to take our seasonings. And the awesome thing about these seasonings is you're using the same amount. So you don't have to write it down and try to remember, oh, was it a half a teaspoon? Was it a fourth teaspoon? Was it a whole teaspoon? We're doubling this. So I've got two pounds of ground beef, two eggs, and I'm going to do a teaspoon, a four, I'm sorry, a half a teaspoon. I'm doing a half a teaspoon of four ingredients. That's it, four, four seasonings. I've got Italian. So a half teaspoon of Italian. I've got a half teaspoon of garlic powder. I've got a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, if you want, you can actually put chopped onions in here, but I'll just go with the onion powder. Again, make it super easy. I've never done real onions and it tastes amazing with onion powder. So I've got a half a teaspoon of Italian garlic powder, onion powder. I'm also going to do a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. Fast and easy. The last thing we're going to put inside this recipe is our breading. So what makes this recipe keto is that we're replacing breadcrumbs with crushed pork rinds. That's a really hard one. I've got crushed pork rinds and I just put in a Ziploc bag, use my rolling pin and crunched them up as small as I could. We're gonna add this into the mix for the breading and then we're going to um, top it off. When we get these all mixed up, we're gonna top it off with sugar-free ketchup and I'm gonna show you my favorite one. There's a lot of sugar-free options of ketchup out there, but I'm gonna show you my favorite one. We're just gonna throw all of this in the box together, the box, in the bowl. I've got my hands ready and we're just gonna mix all this up. So to go over this ingredient again, you've got two pounds of ground beef. You have two cups of pork rinds, crushed pork rinds. I'm just using plain, my favorite brand, Max. We've got two eggs, and then we've got a half teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. 
And that's it, guys. We're just going to mix it up and get this all mixed in really good. You want that egg mixed in with the pork rinds and the seasoning. And I like to cook these in muffin tins because, or a muffin pan because it cooks very quick. Like this is going to be done in 16 minutes or less. Uh, depending on how fast your oven cooks, I've got mine on 350 and I always cook these for like 15 minutes and that's it. Fast, easy, delicious dinner. And you saw the ingredients. I mean, very few ingredients. So guys, if you don't mind and you're interested in some personal growth, make sure you wrote those three questions down for me. And as soon as I put this in the oven and wash my hands, I'm coming right back on to do a video specifically on that, those three questions I just gave you all ago. If you're interested, you just jumped on and you didn't get those questions. Number one, what do I want? Write that down, what do I want? The second question is what do I need? And the third one is what do I deserve? So write those three things down. And then I want you to, in a few minutes when I'm finished with this, I want you to set a timer on your phone. So I'm gonna give you three minutes before I jump back on here. You're gonna set a timer on your phone for one minute to answer the first question. And you're gonna put as many things down as you can fit in that one minute. What do you want? What do you need and what do you deserve? So you're gonna do one minute for the first question, start the timer again. One minute for the second question, Start it again, one minute for the third question. And then we're gonna do a video on that in just a few minutes. All right, so this is looking super phenomenal. I mean, it just looks like ground beef in a bowl. <laughs> super easy. And then I like to take these and put it into a muffin pan so it cooks really fast. So what we're gonna do now, my secret is to take them and roll them up like a meatball. And you can make it whatever size you want, but if you roll them into a meatball and put them in here, you pretty much, you pretty much know what size all of your muffins are. And guys, these are like, Depending on the, sh on the ketchup you use, these can be anywhere from one to three carbs per meatloaf. You can have a whole plate of these <laughs> if you're counting your carb counts. And all I've had today are my ketones. I had my ketones and I had a Keto Pro for lunch because I was way too busy trying to get caught up at work. And then we're having our dinner. So I'm super excited to have some dinner. We're gonna mix these together and then I'm gonna show you real fast how to mix up your um, broccoli cheese casserole. Guys, I love broccoli cheese casserole. This is my daughter's fiance's favorite side dish when he comes to my house. It is so creamy and so delicious and so easy. So we're just rolling these meatloaf meatballs up. And guys, if you wanna make them big, you can make them big. If you wanna make them small, you can make them small. Totally up to you. I just like to roll up my meatball, throw them in the, the tin, and then I can kind of look at them to see, like this one's way too much. I'm gonna take that out and use it for another one. Of course, the smaller you are, the more you can make. It's just me and Ricky eating tonight, and he will eat five or six of these. Every time we, sometimes he eats eight. <laughs> he may eat, he can eat this whole pan of 12 if you want to be quite honest, but he's got to share with me. So I'm doing two pounds of ground beef with this recipe. You can do less, okay? So remember, if you're cooking for yourself or just two people, and you don't have a husband who eats eight meatloaves, then you can do less. You don't have to do, a, uh, you don't have to do two pounds of ground beef. All right, looks like I got enough for two more. I sure hate to use a second pan, so I think I'm gonna make some bigger. Let me smush these in. Either I'm gonna smush these in and make a couple of them bigger, or I'm going to make them smaller and use two pans. <laughs> Probably need to make them smaller because I'm not gonna have room for my ketchup. Mm -hmm. This out, this out, this out. See how easy it is to kind of eyeball them and see if that they're all the same size? Just pull it out. We're just pushing them down in the muffin tin. We're gonna put our ketchup on top. I'm fixing to show you my favorite one. All right, let me get my second pan over here. Easy peasy. So it looks like we're gonna have some leftovers. That sounds always great. Alright, 
So my favorite sugar-free ketchup is this. And it's so yummy. There are a lot of options out there, which is pretty awesome because when I first started, there were not a lot of options. So this is just a sugar-free Heinz ketchup. It actually it doesn't say sugar-free. It says no sugar added Heinz ketchup. What does that mean? It means it's not perfect. There are very expensive products that you are welcome to purchase, but this is, you know, enough money on its own. And I love this one because it's thick like normal ketchup. It tastes like normal ketchup. It's really, really good. And to teach you guys again how to read your labels, because that's important, you want to make sure you understand how to read it. So this says your um, serving size. Serving size is one tablespoon. You see that? One tablespoon is one serving. All right, let's skip on over here. We've got total carbs. It says one gram, y'all see that? One gram of carbs in one tablespoon. I mean, how awesome is that? There's one carb in one tablespoon. So if you was to use three tablespoons on your meatloaf, three carbs per meatloaf. If you're gonna use two tablespoons, two carbs. There's no carbs in anything we put in this meat. Okay, so the carbs are right here in your ketchup. So it's your choice on how much you wanna use. If you wanna use a measuring spoon, and know exactly how much you put on there, you go for it. I've been doing this a long time. I kind of eyeball it, and I'm not really worried about carbs because I haven't hardly had any today. The thing I love about this ketchup myself, besides the taste, is just the fact, like I said, it's thick, so it doesn't run like watery ketchup when it cooks, and it tastes so delicious. So if you have a favorite, where it's got all my face, if you have a favorite low-carb ketchup, I'd love for you to put it in the comments. I just got that all over my shirt. I'd love for you to put it in the comments. All over my face. What in the world? Lord mercy. Uh, put it in the comments so we can have some other options. There's a lot of them out there. There's G Hughes. I love G Hughes. Y'all know I love G Hughes. But his ketchup is really sweet. So it's, even though it doesn't have any sugar, what it is sweet and good is really sweet to me. And it's not thick like a regular ketchup. So when I cook it, it kind of thins out like a really watery substance. It tastes good. It tastes really good. So I love G Hughes. Y'all know I'm a supporter of G Hughes sauces. But that's not my favorite ketchup. There's also Primal Kitchen. I personally have not tried the Primal Kitchen, so it may be just as good as this. Generally, I'm a creature of habit, so if I find something I really enjoy, I pretty much stick to it. I know that's pitiful, but unless it's something you guys are just like, hey, will you please buy this and try it for us? I'm gonna stick to what I like. Um, so put your favorite low-carb ketchups in the comments if you have one that you really love and you're like me. You're like, no, nope, this is the one. This is mine. This is the one I go with. All right, guys, this is it. We're fixing to put this in the oven on 350. I'm going to cook it for about 15 minutes, and we're going to have dinner ready. That's how fast this is. We're fixing to move on to the broccoli cheese casserole, so you can see it real quick. Again, another fast, delicious side dish. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in, okay? All right, let me get my casserole dish for my broccoli. I'm just gonna use a little round, I don't even know what size this is. I can barely read, I can hardly ever read these things, but it's just a little casserole dish. And we're gonna start off with our broccoli. It's a broccoli cheese casserole. So let me grab it out of the microwave. So for me, the thing that keeps this creamy is the, the, the amount of ingredients. So again, this is gonna be in the post. You don't have to write all this down. But the broccoli I'm using is just a steam bag. I thought I had a knife, let me get one. It's a steam bag broccoli, and this size is 12 ounce. Now, you can use more broccoli if you want to, especially if you're feeding a lot of people. You, now, me and Ricky, when Dakota comes over here, we can almost eat this whole casserole together. <laughs> it's, I love it. He loves it. Ricky likes it. He's not a huge, huge, like a fallen lover because he doesn't just love broccoli like I do. Uh, which we'll look and see if there's any big leaves. But you just put your steamed broccoli. Now, you see, I already steamed it. You see all the steam? It's already cooked, which makes it fast, right? So one steam bag is what I like to use because I like it to be creamy. Like, I want a creamy uh, casserole. The next thing we're going to do is use a whole block, a whole eight ounce. Yes, I know. A whole eight ounce of cream cheese. So this is hot. This has just been sitting out as long as we've been talking, so not very long. I'm going to put it right into that broccoli while it's hot to help me to help me get this softened. If you want to, you can put it in the microwave. You can look at a couple of seconds in the microwave to get it soft or you can let it sit out like it should. But I'm just throwing it in there. We're going to stir the heck out of this. Now, when I make my broccoli cheese casserole, I like my broccoli to be, I mean, it looks like mashed potatoes when it's done. <laughs> 
If you want to have chunks of broccoli and do it differently, you go right ahead. I actually really mix the mess out of mine so it looks like broccoli mashed potatoes. That's what it looks like when I'm finished. It's so, so, so yummy. All right, so we've got our broccoli. We've got a block of cream cheese. Next, we're gonna do a fourth cup of mayo. Now, again, you guys know my favorite mayonnaise, so I'm gonna show it to you real quick. This is Better Body Foods Avocado Mayo. It's so yummy, I love this. I get mine at Walmart, but you can actually get it from Better Body Foods if your grocery store doesn't have it, and I just love it. It, it tastes so good. Um, now, guys, if this sounds good, please share this video. Make sure you're sharing my video so we can show more people how easy it is to eat low-carb and keto and completely change their health. So we're gonna do a fourth cup of this mayonnaise. Now, if you don't have this mayonnaise, you don't have to use my mayonnaise, guys. You can use whatever mayonnaise you love. If you love Duke's mayonnaise, go for it. If you love Hellman's mayonnaise, go for it. Just make sure you're using a real mayonnaise. For a really good low carb or keto living, you wanna use a real mayonnaise and you know very little Miracle Whip because of the oils that's in it. All right, and let me open another one. I wish one a fourth cup of this mayonnaise. Hope I don't squirt it all over me like I had to catch it. I bought this mayonnaise one time. I just ran across it at Walmart. He was like, man, that's good. I was like, yes, it is. So we decided to keep with it. All right, fourth cup. All right, we're going to pour that right in there. So we've got a block or eight ounces of cream cheese. We have one bag, a 12 ounce bag of broccoli. And we just put in a fourth cup of mayonnaise. I forgot to time my timer on my oven. Um, let's set a timer. All right. And now we're gonna put some salt and pepper in there, of course. Uh, so I'll always salt and pepper my veggies. Just a little bit of salt. You're not gonna need a lot of salt because of the cheese. A little bit of salt, that's all we need. But the, but the pepper, we're gonna do a whole teaspoon. No, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a half teaspoon. I like mine a little spicy, I'm gonna do a half teaspoon. But we're gonna do a whole teaspoon of garlic powder. So that is my secret ingredient to this recipe, but you guys know I love garlic. <laughs> so we're gonna do a full teaspoon of garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And we did about a half teaspoon of pepper. Now you can leave the pepper out, you can add more if you want to. The last ingredient for the broccoli casserole to actually mix in with the, with the casserole is cheese. Now I'm using cheddar, you can use whatever cheese you like. And we're gonna do about a cup. You can do less than that, you don't have to have a full cup of cheese. But I'm gonna do about a cup. And I'm gonna shred it over this, I guess. And then I'll just wash it. So I'm just gonna shred up some of this cheese. Try not to make a mess. Ain't happening. Y'all know I love to make messy kitchens. And again, like I said, you don't have to have a full cup of cheese. This is yours. You can do less cheese if you want to. Now I'm shredding my own cheese, as you can see, because when you're making a, a, a casserole or a cheesy dish, I'm always gonna recommend you shred your own block. Your block of cheese is gonna taste a million times better than the pre-shredded cheese at the grocery store. I promise, trust me, your, yours is gonna taste so much better. So this is about a cup, a little less. We're just gonna throw that right in there too. And now here we're gonna go to town. We're going to mush this to death. And I'm definitely not gonna do it with this rubber mallet because I'll just make a mess. Wash it anyway. So I'm just getting the metal spoon and we're going to mix this all up. Now the cream cheese didn't sit out very long, right? So it's not, it's not really softened as well as I wished it was. That's okay. We just put it right on top of that hot steam of broccoli so it will melt as we continue to stir this up. Now, again, if you want chunks of broccoli, then you don't wanna do this the way I'm doing it. You wanna mix all the cheese and the ingredients together and then pour or push, put that broccoli right on top, toss it a couple of times and you're done. I like to mush mine to death. Like, so mine's gonna be like broccoli mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's gonna look like a, a loaded broccoli potato when we're done cooking this. If you guys have had this before, give me some hearts. If you haven't tried this before, you're going to love it. Trust me, this is one of my favorite dishes. I've had this on my list of rotations for the full year, four years I've been living keto, and it's always a go-to. I love it. So it looks not very appetizing, does it? But I could eat it just like this. I only had to put it in the oven. We are going to put this in the oven because we want all of that cheese to melt together. We want to get bubbly. So nine minutes. 
Nine minutes in the oven on 350 is all you need. I've got one more ingredient that we're gonna add to the top of this. And then I'm gonna wash my hands, give you guys about four to five minutes to answer those questions and I'm gonna hop right back on this video. And as a matter of fact, if you don't even want to take that time to answer the questions, we'll do 30 seconds. We'll do 30 seconds for you guys to answer the questions with me on the phone. All right, so we're just spreading this out. And then I've got one more ingredient that I'm gonna put over the top of this. Again, this is something you can leave out if you want to, but I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I mean, cheddar, Parmesan, cream cheese, broccoli. I mean, guys, you can't get much better than that. This is a delicious dish. And look, I got enough to taste. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Okay. So on the, on the Parmesan, seriously, I'm putting a very little bit, All right, just a little sprinkle. You don't want a lot because you already put a little bit of salt in here and all these cheeses have a little bit of salt. So we're just sprinkling the top with some Parmesan and this bad boy is going right into the oven with the other. If I find space. There we go. Now I've got that oven ready. I am going to check and see if you guys have questions in the next video because we're fixing to do a great video together. If you're interested in personal learning, like I want to... Definitely. Oh, looky here. Karen's already answering the questions. Karen, you go, girl. She's already answering the questions, but we're fixing to do it together in just a few minutes. So give me just a couple of minutes. I'm going to get off this video and go right back to washing my hands, and then we're going to come back. So if you're interested in a little bit of personal development and information on the conference, just one thing, one little nugget from this conference, come right back. Uh, I do apologize for my filthy face. I, well, my, I say filthy. I just washed it, so it's all red and splotchy. I got my eyebrows done today, and I break out every single time. It doesn't matter what they put on. I always break out. I've got very sensitive skin. All right, guys. I'm going to go, and I'll see you in just a few minutes. Bye.